Can the kinds of words a person chooses to say predict whether or not they'll one day develop a mental illness? It sounds absurd, but a new study using machine learning suggests that a person's vocabulary can predict psychosis with up to 93% accuracy. Here's how. It's bloody science. The paper, published by scientists at Harvard and Emory, says that subtle features in a person's everyday language can hide signs of future mental illness. The researchers built a new way to predict mental illness using machine learning. Their artificial intelligence program found that two variables in particular can predict future mental illness with scary accuracy. The first indicator they found was frequent usage of words associated with sounds like hear, loud, chant, whisper, and utter. The second indicator was if the person speaks very vaguely, consistently. A sentence like, I think I thought that, but then I didn't, is very vague, while something like, I was concerned by my sister's reaction for a while, but then stopped worrying, is more specific. To study this, a team of scientists built an extremely sensitive machine learning program to pick up very subtle hidden patterns in a person's language. They scanned the conversations of 30,000 Reddit users and put them into a software program called Word2Vec, which uses an algorithm to work words together with similar meaning. The Reddit data formed a baseline of normal conversations for the researchers. They then scanned the dialogue of 40 young people at clinical risk of psychosis who were interviewed by doctors as part of a National Institute of Health monitoring program. After comparing the at-risk group's vocabulary to the Reddit control group, the 40-person sample was then followed for several years after the study. What was found is pretty interesting. The emergence of psychosis was predicted by an increased usage of words about voices and sounds, and also by sentence vagueness. How vague a person speaks ultimately depends on how their mind combines ideas into sentences. It has long been thought that abnormalities in the way a person communicates about the world worsen when someone is in the early stages of psychosis. An even more consistent feature of schizophrenia is auditory hallucinations, or hearing voices. This symptom often appears very late in the onset of the disease, but early signs of this are exactly what the machine learning found, and increased tendency to talk about voices and sounds. To double-check the accuracy of the AI, the researchers had a group of humans rate 72 sentences produced by the at-risk patients. The results between both the computer and the humans correlated together. In other words, both groups, humans and AI, rated sentences of lower complexity or vagueness similarly. Interestingly, the software also grouped together the specific words that best predicted future schizophrenia. An overuse of words describing auditory perception like voice, hear, sound, and the others we mentioned earlier did. The word whisper in particular was never actually said by those studied, but the machine learning software determined that their choice of vocabulary heavily described thoughts that were related to whispers. Users on Reddit used the words that described auditory perception less. The following quotes are a couple more specific examples that show the early stages of auditory hallucination. Patient 1, quote, You know I talk to myself, but I don't. I don't know if it is me. I mean, if I talk to myself in the mirror, you know, I'm talking to me. But how can I have a conversation with myself? I say stuff in my head as if I am talking to me, and it's funny. And I laugh like I didn't know that I was going to say that. Patient 2, I would hear something that sounds like a plane engine, or like a really, you know, a really far off motor. It never went away entirely. It's gone a lot more in the past couple months since Christmas. It just sounds like that. It sounds like a little flame or a cellular, a uh, digital motor. This research matters because it appears to be the first time subtle usage of vocabulary can be linked to eventual psychosis. Emory professor Philip Wolfe, one of the authors, says that the research is, quote, interesting, not just for its potential to reveal more about mental illness, but for understanding how the mind works, how it puts ideas together. He says the machine learning is the mining of the human mind. 
going forward, it will be interesting to see if future studies look at other speech patterns and if they are predictive of future mental illness. We're a new channel that was started because we thought the media wasn't covering new academic studies frequently enough. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and share the channel with anyone else interested in learning about science by following what top scientists are publishing.